Jordan had such embarrassing moment? Crying in his arm after selected into Team 2? Air Jordan, Fly Like an Eagle Part 3 Michael Jordan, Jordan wasn't a great powerful basketball player in his high school. He was only 178 centimeters tall at that time and not draw much attention. In high school, his coach Clifton Herring decided to divide the team into Team 1 and Team 2. Both teams were important, it's just Team 1 needed more regular games, and thus needs experienced players who are suitable for actual combat. Team 2 was mainly used as a talent training base and the reserve force of the team. After some choices, the list of the first team, Team 1 has been basically finalized, and the last place is left. Coach Herring had searched all among the senior students. The overall height of Team 1 was still somewhat inadequate, none of them over 191 centimeters. Therefore, he looked among the sophomores. He found Leroy Smith, who was 201 centimeters tall, ignoring Jordan. When the final list was posted, Jordan found himself was in Team 2 while Smith was in Team 1. Jordan was very upset and he cried in his arms. Jordan who was eager to win, regarded the selection as a shame. He also set the innocent Smith as his first enemy in his life. He started to train hard, quickly became the sidekick, star of Team 2. A year later, he leapt 13 centimeters in height to 191 centimeters tall. Everything was different, after that, every time Jordan mentioned the selection, he would say that he was eliminated from the school team, instead of entering the team too. Only then could oneself train diligently, break other people's doubt about himself. Jordan's almost paranoid competitive spirit has begun to show here. He believed that fail to be the best is a failure and he could be eliminated by this society. Although Jordan was already on the SLAM All-American team in his senior year. But when he graduated from high school, there was no college team contacting him on their own initiative. So the Jordan family sent a letter to UCLA. But the letter was like a rock sinking into the sea without any news. The University of Virginia offered him admission, but no scholarship. At last, they thought of the University of North Carolina, UNC in their hometown. The head coach Roy Williams discussed with Coach Herring and decided to let him enter UNC. UNC not only focused on sports, but also attaches importance to cultural learning. This satisfied James Jordan and Delaris who were peasants in general. So, in 1981, Jordan went to University of North Carolina UNC. Thanks for watching, Basketball Legends.